Around 50,000 years ago, in the prehistoric forests of East Asia, the first humans arrived from Africa to live and to hunt. This vast land was thought to be empty when they took their first steps here. But now it appears they were not alone. This remote cave in southwest China is the final resting place of strange, unknown humans. Their remains had lain undisturbed for millennia. I'd never seen a set of human remains like this ever before. Every bone that we looked at had been modified in some way. Some had been cut, some had been burned, and others painted in ochre. What we faced here was a discovery that challenged everything we understood about human evolution. Now we are confronted with someone, or perhaps something, we really did not expect to meet. We had come face to face with the Red Deer cave people. What we know, what we understand about human evolution, I, I just can't see that they're anything other than a new species. It's an idea bound to create shockwaves throughout the scientific world. Science is very conservative. So when people find new things that don't fit into current widely held models, or they come up with new theories, they're challenged, they're ridiculed, sometimes their careers suffer. This is the heart of the biggest controversy in the science of human evolution. You're real. I oh, know. <laughs> My red deer cave person, you're real. <laughs> There's this new evidence from China of, of, of a distinct group, probably yeah. a new species, living in the landscape, sharing the landscape wow. with people just like, just like us. The Red Deer cave people may be the closest members of our diverse human family to have walked amongst us. It forces us to rethink the concept, the very basic idea of what it means to be a human, the way we define ourselves, the way we think about our place in nature. I think it alters that.